In a country like Nigeria, with a population of over 250 million people, with more than half that population making up the youth, and the majority of the youth being sports lovers, football is king. Growing up as a kid, I wanted to play professional football. And um, when I got to the United Kingdom, I quickly realized that I wasn't good enough. I wasn't strong enough. I wasn't as fast as they were. Um, and technically, I wasn't as sound as well. The kids that were my peers were a lot better. Uh, fundamentally, had a better understanding of the game and a better knowledge with better vision. So lost a little bit of hope. And um, I quickly did the right thing and went to university after that. Make it clear to the world that I'm, I'm the dream they are looking for. Yes. The opportunity to go on trial in Europe with clubs like Watford FC has attracted over 900 boys to this screening in Lagos. I'm Scott Duxbury, chairman of Watford Football Club. We're delighted to be supporting the Dream Football Show. We've had excellent experience with Nigerian football players, in particular Odi Nigalo and Isaac Success, and we really are proud to be supporting this project and look forward to the results of the competition. Thank you. Hi, I'm Troy Deeney, captain of Watford FC. Um, the initiative in which obviously you guys are involved in it is, is fantastic. I think the, the concept is really good. Obviously, it, it makes people show, showcase their talent, but also shows their hard work and dedication to get through all the rounds, and obviously. With a, with a massive coin at the end being that you can come to the Premier League and, and uh, get a club. So I uh, wish everybody well, wish everybody that's running its success and uh, anybody that's involved in the game, keep going. My name is Olaolu Olubinli and I'm 13 years old. Um, my role model is Sergio Ramos. The Dream Football Show is actually a very good opportunity. Uh, my name is Kingsley Emaso Bakosi and I'm 16 years old. Um, my name is Victor and I'm 16. Just give myself I'm okay. I'm not better than those outside. So I created the Dream Football TV show. It's a platform that helps young African footballers showcase their skills to clubs, scouts and managers across the world. It's a 13 episode TV show um, and I think it is one that's very brilliant, very family orientated. It um, encourages competition with real prospects of these talents actually going to Europe on trial if they are successful on the show. But the question is, which of these young optimistic lads has what it takes to make it to the big leagues? Europe is the destination for one of these players with so many clubs partnering with the organizers. Remember, the biggest of them has to be Watford FC of England, where Ojo Igalo made a name for himself. So one of these players today will aspire to be an Ojo Welcome to the Dream Football Reality TV Show. After months of planning and preparation, we finally arrived at the Lagos screening holding at the Agege Township Stadium. For this show to be successful, there are certain things that must happen and there are key people that make these things happen. And the very first one will be administration um, because I think the administration is one of the strongest parts of the show. They are in charge of uh, making sure that um, social media is properly done, um, the logging in of the details, the registration phase as well. They um, collect the data of the boys so we know what zones people are registering for more. And this is a very effective means of actually doing our jobs because at the end of the day, we need to keep this data together to be able to make reference to them later in the future. Um, and the second would be um, the player scouts and the scouts and um, the coaches as well. They are taxed with the job of making sure that the best talents come through the screening process. That means we can't leave out any talent that we think is um, good enough. So it is a very fair process. If you're good enough, you make it. And if you're not, you don't make it. It's as simple as that. Um, and thirdly will be the organizations that we have to work with as well. The NFF, the Lagos State FA, the Lagos State Sports Commission, these organizations um, generally control the activities of football in Nigeria. And um, it is important that we are either in affiliation with them or partnered with them so that it makes our job a lot easier. The pressure is on, with the organizers trying to ensure the screening is a success 
especially with loads of parents in attendance to witness what is looking like the biggest screening of football talent held in Lagos State, Nigeria. I know what I expect. I expect to see great talent. I expect to see great, great dribbles. I expect to see great goalkeeping. I expect to see great defending. Don't forget, over 900 boys are present, all vying to be among the 60 who will qualify for placement in the Dream Camp. The selection process continues. The show happens in four stages. The first stage is the zonal screening for all of the talents across the country which means that we've um, actually broken them down into about six zones but we might be doing just three zones um, namely Lagos, um, Kaduna and Enugu and stage two is the general screening for all of the zonal talents that we find um, and stage three is the dream camp this is where we pick 60 of the best talents that we find from all of the general screenings that we have done and stage four is where we actually prep the finalist or the best talents that we find um, on the show to go to trials in Europe. For all the lads selected from all the screenings, this is more than an opportunity to showcase their talent and footballing ability, but also to experience the challenges that comes with moving away from familiar surroundings to adjusting to a life of rigorous everyday training at the Dream Camp for a month in Lekki in Lagos. To begin the evaluation process, the boys are divided into groups. These groups will face each other in mini tournaments and the coaches will begin their selection. Hello everyone, my name is Amanda Dara and this is day three of the Lagos screen of the Dream Football Reality Talent Show. Behind me some people are warming up. Oh my God. So watch out and see who's going to make it to the next round. During this period, the coaches scrutinize the lads for certain qualities, tenacity, endurance, speed and innate skill will all come into play. Footage of the training sessions will be thoroughly reviewed after the sessions. So, so what position did you play? Defensive midfielder. Hey. Show me how you do it. Like, what are the steps to becoming a defensive person? For people out there who want to be like you. To be able to hold the ball and release the ball to your 10 and to mark okay. for your 10. So you're playing to qualify, right? Yes. Are you hopeful? I'm hopeful. If you don't get it, Unko? Life goes on. Another group takes on its assigned opponent. And there are tense moments as each player seeks to show that he has what it takes to be selected. It's all about showcasing talent and that comes with tenacity, skill, endurance and the will to succeed. Remember, there are a lot of lads here, each one hoping to be selected, each one hoping to be a star.
my own input is to scout the top talent that will match with the world standard players. Camp is not easy. You have to go through a lot of intensive training. The coaches are going to monitor the players day and night. They have to work every day. They have to be ready. Uh, you're coming from your home to the dream camp. You should be ready to face the task. The coaches are going to have a tough job separating the wheat from the chaff. There are some hilarious moments though, as the coaches witness some funny antics from the players. After all, boys will be boys. Any of these football players provoked you to the point where you almost give them a knock or a slap? Are, are you okay? What are you doing? Has anyone provoked yeah, you so far? There was one goalkeeper the second uh, day, I don't know his name. They back passed to, to him and it's like he doesn't know what to do. He was just looking at whether do I have to catch with my hand. So, <laughs> with my leg. And then I, I'm surprised because at this level, at least they are still in secondary school or they have yeah. finished. They're supposed to have known the basic things or the laws of the game. Mm. I expect that from them. Mm, so okay. the fault is from the grassroots coaches. Mm. Ah, you know. not you coaches. No, not we. Okay. <laughs> so guys, behind me are some players warming up. Look at them. I don't know what that, I don't know what it does, but then they're warming up there, you know, so come with me, let's go interview some players. Yes, it's time to catch up with some of the players and let them talk about their hopes and dreams. Let them take a look at some of their idols and talk about the game of football and their experiences so far at the screening. Aha, so I caught one fine boy. Was it? Ah, really sorry. Chopi no every time. <laughs> Chop no <ku. laughs> yeah. How are you doing now? How are you feeling? I feel good. I think it's a fantastic one, the dream. Look at the likes of Ojoni Galo, Kelechi Inacho, Rufredin mm. uh, Didi. Ah. They are doing fantastic well for Nigeria. Yes, and you see, Victor Moses, ah. you know, he's playing for Chelsea now under a very strict co um, coach like Antonio Conte. Mm -hmm. And I've been fantastic. So, I mean, it's a good one for Nigeria. Are you nervous? Yeah, I mean, I've been tried before and I want to try again. I want to, and I'm I hoping. Wonder. When you are done, you need to slim down. Come and join me. <laughs> who is this rude girl, please? Who is that rude girl? So, I mean, I just, just check out. Well, who is that rude girl? And hey, we are saying, Jerry. I mean, I've, 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 I've gone before, so I'm going to try again. I mean, I think I'm good enough to play hey, football. Hey. I have the passion. Um, I'm a defender anyways. I play central back, right back, preferably. So. How do you like football? Tell me the truth. Right from time, I've always loved the sports. Mm. It's very, I mean, it's a lucrative business now. You see? Like <laughs> Money. Ibo man, it's a lucrative. Where are you from? As the selection process continues, some of the lads express their disappointment at having been cut. Really heartbreaking, having come from so far. Yeah, attacking me through central attacking me through okay, okay. <sighs> Ah, so how is the dream football reality show for you? Well, it's a good platform, but uh, from what I can see, I don't think I was picked, but I hope to get more opportunity someday. Why do you think you are not picked? Ah, I don't know. Not, probably not my day. Oh, disappointing really. But the truth is, champions don't give up. They keep trying. The head coordinator talked about the screening and how it had yielded some potential superstars. He also had words of encouragement for those who sadly did not make the cut. How's the show been going for you? Yeah, it's been uh, wonderful. I wish uh, in our time we had an opportunity like this. You know, we didn't have, I won't play. Even though I played for Nigeria, but we never had this opportunity. It would have helped us a lot. So it's a great show. I'm happy to be part of this uh, show. Yeah. Yes. So the boys are performing well. Yeah, I think we have some more cultures and Kano here. We tell you, you will get to know. I'm so excited. Our culture and Kano in the building. Yes. With time, we're going to, you're going to see them. After this uh, tournament, I think we are going to bring them together to play some friendly games. You, you, you testify that yes, we have some occultures of kind of here. Let me also ask, as a footballer, what's the most important quality you should have? You know, because a lot of people are young and they want the money, they want the career, the fast fame. So what's the most important quality they should have? Yeah, after the skills, once you have the basic skills, talents, then you have to be disciplined. Those are the two things that will take you to any uh, level you want to, yeah. So to the young people out there, can you give them one word that are missing the dream football reality show? Or one sentence for them? Well, I think it's still not late. By tomorrow, they can still come here and register and be part of us. So that's, that's the advice I can give them. 
that they come and be part of it. And for the people who don't make it? Well, we wish them good luck. Maybe in another year, there will be another opportunity. And yes, we're getting to the final stages. The herd is gradually being thinned out and majority of the boys remaining have a good chance of being selected for the next round. Some of them share their stories. Yeah, so, so I'm going to interview some players up the stairs. Ah, these people, you guys, they have strong faces. I don't be. I'm screened. screened. Yes. They're looking very confident. Thank you. Yeah. You sure you get it? Uh, well, I've passed the basic um, stage. But I think there's a, there's a next stage. Right? Yeah. Uh, uh -huh. So, I have to wait for now. What's your name? Ebishini Fisola. You look really small. How old are you? I'm 13 years old. Wow, you're 13. So, you made it to the next round again? Yes. So, what position do you play on the field? I play at, at attacking midfield. That's number 10. It means you must really like football. You were 13 and you came all the way from Akure. Wow, to be here. So, um, how would you, what, what actually inspires your football skills? What inspires my football is I love the players that play for Watford FC. Because wow. then my brother has loved soccer since he learned to walk. Okay. And then when I heard about this, I was so happy because ah, oh, finally he gets to live his dream. Uh, yeah, this is a really great opportunity that was picked. Um, the Dream football show gave me a chance, and what got me picked? I listened to my coach. Wow. Well, like I should be myself. If you find out you were picked, how will you feel? Well, I'll be happy, very glad, but all the same. Okay. Someone has to go. Someone has to be picked. So if you go, eh, there are always other opportunities. Yeah. High five! Yeah. All right, thank you. It's almost over now, and yes, it has been a worthwhile experience. The final step of the screening process, and still the lads continue to put in their all. Knowing a final push can make all the difference between an ordinary life or that of a superstar playing for the likes of Watford Football Club, Haas Football Club, or even Hamilton. Football Club. As the screening selection comes to a close, we're dotting the I's and crossing the T's. But we caught up with one of the participants by name Shemilore, and he talked about how the experience at the exercise has been. Let's have a listen. Hello, how you doing? I'm cool, I'm cool. All right, so what position do you play? I can see your gloves. Yeah, yeah, I'm a keeper, I'm a good keeper. <laughs> so, so how would you rate your performance on the pitch? Um, I think um, I, play, I, I keep it away, but do I have a pain in my right knee, or which affects me when I was kicking the ball. So I was like, okay, the defender should just help me and kick it so that my leg, I will not get more injured on the leg. So I'm just trying to just cover up the, the pains on the leg. So how many goals did you did enter your net or did you save? I, I, I guess just to enter the net. So you, they scored against you, right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow, wow. 
But no, it's not one match. Uh, like for like four match or three match, I keep for like three matches. So I conceive just two goals. So yes, this is me signing out of the Dream Football reality show. Yesterday was pouring rain, but today it was sunny and we're able to achieve a lot. Some people have been moved on to the second stage. Some people not, you know, they didn't do so well. But then it is not the end. This is the Dream Football reality show. My name is Amanda Dar and I'm out. Yes, the selection process in Lagos has come to an end. The lucky lads have been picked and they are well on their way to achieving their dream. Dream Football Reality Show heads to Kaduna for the next greeting. Are you passionate? Do you have a dream? Do you love football? Are you a goal-getter? Then this is the Dream Football Reality Talent Show. And yes, still in search of the next football superstar. Lucky players have been selected to join our final screenings in Lagos. Up next, we'll be going to Enugu to find more talent. My name is Amanda Dara. Until next time. Children of Africa have always dreamed of playing professional football, but all they had was a dream. With lack of support, dreams die. This is the Dream Football Reality Talent Show. If you are African, if you are talented, if you are hungry for success, you are ready for glory. We will put you on a platform where thousands of clubs and scouts will see you. Register now at www.thedreamfootball.com and pay to first bank AS Media. Account number 203-190-9105. 3000 Naira. Contact. Dream Football Reality Talent Show.